Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at some Toys and Lions Acid Rain World figures. We've got the newer and the Nephilim Stormer. <laughs> Okay, so we've got Newer and Nephilim Stormer out of their plastic wrap. So let's quickly look at the packaging like we always do. You can see here that the Stormer is actually here behind Newer in the in the uh, box art. Pretty cool. Looks really nice. I'm guessing he must be the the sort of the foot soldier. He doesn't have a name. Newer does. So Newer's, I'm guessing, the commander. Looks like he's got a skull mask or skull helmet there. Um, this looks to use parts of the AMM soldiers that I did a uh, review on, but he also has these sort of chainsaw machetes that I think, uh, what's his name, uh, the Annex 2179 uh, guy had. So it looks like this guy's sort of a hodgepodge, and it looks like he is too. He looks like he is too. I'm, I'm recognizing these knee pads and some of the armor here. Let's take a look at the back really quick like he must have a he does have a head underneath that mask or that helmet he's got lots of accessories there two pistols the two machete uh, uh, chainsaws looks like he's got a big rifle and I'm not sure what that is looks like it might be a backpack he also comes with lots of weapons two pistols two grenades an extra helmet looks like a knife and three rifles so lots of accessories this one does come with the plastic crate. Looks like it's in black. Usually when they come in this size box, they do not have that plastic crate. So I'm not expecting to see one in there. It's usually a double clamshell. So that's enough about the packaging. Let's get them open. Okay, and here is Newer and Nelfum Stormer out of packaging. And I was correct, my assumption. There's a double clamshell inside of here no plastic crate all right so these guys are loaded with accessories and they do appear now that i have them out and i'm, I'm playing with them I've only had them out for a few minutes they do appear to use most of the bucks from the amm the mason the vestman vanguard and the yellow jacket captain which i did an army build video on so these feel quite familiar obviously there's a little bit of newness in here and the paint job as well. Um, let's see, let's start with newer. I love this head sculpt, this helmet. I guess it's a helmeted version of the skull. It looks awesome. I don't think I'm going to use the non-helmeted head with the beret. This thing looks so good. Um, I've noticed though, one of the little issues I have is there's a, a square here on the back of the head or the skull, the helmet. And when you move it, it, it seems to rub on the back of that armor. So it hindered, it doesn't move quite as smoothly as I like, but the head can be, cause you've got that joy toy or I'm sorry, that acid rain world articulation, the head does sort of jut in and out but then the jaw almost wants to hit the front of the armor so it doesn't move quite as smoothly as i as i want um, but nonetheless the paint job the jaw you can see all that silver Let's see if my light if i hold it back a little bit but the jawline some silver there looks great man but it does have you know the buck pretty much is the yellow jacket and the Vespid kind of mixed up. And so is Stormer there. But the paint job's awesome. Um, this would be another army build, um, you know, to, to build these guys out if you wanted. I did pre-order these from Pia Club. I don't think this is an army I'm gonna build though. In fact, I might throw these guys in with the yellow jackets because they're so similar maybe these two will go to that army and they're actually going to lead it because they've got the different colored armor yet it is quite the same 
me show you this unmasked head because it is done really, really well. You can see that. I did notice though, I've got a little bit of a paint splotch right there in front of the ear, but behind the eye, like a gray splatter of paint. Not a big deal, not a big deal. But man, it, this thing is done really, really well. His hair sculpted. You can even see he's got a fade in his hair. You know, it's shaved, his head is shaved. It's got a nice fade really done well as nice as this is and it does come with the beret that fits on really well i don't know if i'll use this i like this skull so much and i did try to put that beret on this skull and it didn't quite fit it's this is a little bit too big this helmet um as nice as that is i think i'm gonna leave him with this this helmet on i like it so much um he does have these really awesome rifles call this the medium rifles the medium sized rifles they are painted in his colors to match him they both have a very slight drilled barrel a lot of sculpting in there clips don't come out or anything but i like these they look really cool um the larger rifle again i believe this is the same one as the amm guys because it does have the uh, the knife that can attach to the rifle as a bayonet. It goes on there, it's really hard to get off. I put it on once and already and taken it off. Another drill barrel there. Very cool gun, well sculpted. Again, painted to match his armor. This knife does come out. It's a bit difficult to get out though. It's, you're not gonna lose that when it's in there. It's, it's pretty tight. Um, he's got two of the kind of the standard grenades and these do uh, hook onto his armor in the back and then he's got two pistols which he does have holsters thigh holsters and these are really really nice too and they also have a very slight small drilled barrels overall a lot of accessories really good paint really good sculpt um i really like them i really like them now to the stormer and again this is like i think like the mason body maybe is it the vespid no this is the yellow jacket this is the yellow jacket helmet on a mason body very nice big chonky guy oversized you know He's four inch, he's probably four and a quarter, four and a half. It's a big guy, a lot of plastic. Very cool. Um, I should point out, this guy did come with directions because there are a couple different ways to use this. I'm, I call this like an exoskeleton. I know that's probably not the right term. They call it on here, the Dynatech 2 dual arm mechanical appendage. And I guess there's a couple places on him that you can put it. They have an A, B, and a C. I tend not to use these. I know a lot of people do. I tend not to. I'm not sure why. I just feel like they're too much of a hassle. But it's nice that they give it to you. And it, you know, any of the guys, any of those masons or whoever has this armor, you can use this on. Um, you know, cool. Um, and if you want to store all the weapons, you know, you, you do need to use this because he, he does put the blades in here. Um, so he, you do need this if you want to have him carry everything. This guy, on the other hand, um, I think, no, he only has two hands. He has nowhere to put the extra rifle. So he can carry everything but one of the rifles. You kind of have to pick. Do you want him to have one small and one big or, um, you know, carry both small or you know whatever um, but the, the pistols the knife um, well the knife would go in the big the big gun and the, the grenades fit on him so you can almost carry everything this is again that oversized rifle um, drilled barrel it does have a, like a kickstand on it 
um, a tripod. I guess it's not a tri though, right? It's only two. Same idea. It does articulate. The two machete chainsaws, really cool melee weapons. And the two pistols, also with drilled barrels, really well sculpted. All of this stuff is, is sculpted, you know, just immaculately, even this. It's robotic arms, whatever they're calling it. The Dynatech, dual arm mechanical appendage. That's a really long name. Yeah, I would just call it exoskeleton. Uh, but very cool, very cool. Flip that helmet up, and there he is, right underneath there. Yeah, and it says his name right there. Stealth. Oh, I can't read it. Stealth team. I think it says stealth team. Um, so maybe that's the name of the squad. I don't know the lore of these guys. I really do like this sort of spine on the back of the armor. They both have it. So did the AMM guys because these are the same bucks. But very cool. You know, now, you know, in hindsight, I wonder, would I have army built the yellow ones? I probably would have went for these ones just because I prefer this color. But obviously those other ones were first. Um, and those were on sale. These were pre-ordered at full price. Um, very good. I think I'm just going to add these to that army as the two commanders. Because their armor is so similar. Um, it's just their colors a little bit different. Um, but very good pickups. Got your standard, you know, acid rain rolled. I didn't do an articulation, uh, go over it, but I, I will really quickly here. Standard, you know, acid rain articulation. It's, it's some of the best in the world. Um, diaphragm joint, uh, waist swivel, uh, hinged elbows, or I should say, uh, single hinged elbow armor kind of holds it back a little bit. Um, bicep swivel, uh, ball jointed shoulders, head, but again, it's a little limited because of the helmet ball hinged neck. It's like a double barbell thigh swivel. Ball hinged hips, but again, the armor, the packs on the on the belt kind of hold it back. Double hinged knee and a rocker ankle. So these guys, you know, they have everything. Um, I guess they're missing toes. The armor is what's kind of holding this guy back from getting into crazy dynamic poses. And it's not just because he's big, but it's it's really is the armor because this guy basically has the same exact articulation and has the same exact limitations. Bicep swivel, thigh swivel. His ball hinged hips do a lot better though because his belt, um, he doesn't have the, the packs on the belt like this guy does. So he can get more of a split. Rocker ankle, much better rocker ankle um, because of the armor, how it cuts off this one. Oh, that, no, that's about the same. It's about the same up and down. Yeah. So it's pretty much the same. Um, awesome. You know, it's, this is, this is almost at the, the highest you can get here in terms of, you know, articulation, sculpt, paint. That's what Toys Alliance does. That's what acid rain is. Um, it's always great to find these guys when you can, um, and get them on sale. Looks like they're coming on sale more and more, uh, recently, at least on Pia club. Um, and, it, and I always prefer Pia Club um, just because of the, uh, they don't have the markup that Big Bad does. And you definitely, you know, it's tough to buy these on eBay um, or any secondary market because they're crazy priced on those websites. So that is the overview, guys. I can recommend these, but I would just say, you know, unless you definitely want this helmet and this head, or this color, if you can get the, the AMM guys on sale in yellow, it's, it's pretty much the same thing. Maybe there's some weapons here that you prefer the color, you know, this awesome head, this almost looks, you know, uh, the more I'm looking at it, this looks like the lead character off of, um, that movie, uh, Starship Trooper, that guy, um, 
forgot his name now. Um, I really do like that movie. I do have it in my movie collection, but this, that's almost who this looks like. I wonder if they, not as much in the, the box art, but figure wise, it looks like that guy, even in profile, maybe a little bit older version of that guy. Um, but this thing is really, really good, really good. All right. So that's the overview guys. Let me know. Are you going to pick these up? Have you already got them? Do you prefer this color over the yellow ones, the yellow jacket team? Um, let me know. I'm going to shoot just a few photos on the way out. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.